Hey there guys, welcome back to Anthony Reviews, where Anthony reviews. And we are back at it again with another Power Rangers review, uh, going from the basic 6 inch figures now to the new Hasbro Lightning Collection, which is still 6 inch basically, but uh, it's going for a more adult collector audience. Um, as you can see, I'm a very big uh, 6 inch collector, especially with Hasbro, with all these Marvel Legends here. So I'm very excited for these figures, um, they look amazing and they've been something I've been looking forward to since they were initially announced. Uh, phew, wow. Comic-Con last year, maybe? Something like that? Either way. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the review. When Hasbro announced that they would be taking over the Power Rangers license, one of the very first things shown was the Lightning Collection. This line would be their 6-inch line aimed at adult collectors, featuring a wide range of characters and screen-accurate depictions of those said characters. Considering Hasbro's history with Marvel Legends and more recently the Star Wars Black series, hopes were high for Ranger fans. Could this line be the definitive Power Rangers action figure for adult collectors? Well, the line has officially begun hitting stores and we can now see for ourselves. The first wave consists of four figures, each coming with accessories including alternate hands, heads, weapons, and effects. You can tell a lot of thought went to deciding who would be in this inaugural lineup. Out of the four characters chosen, we get three Power Rangers, each from completely different eras. For those unaware, Ranger fans will often refer to eras based on who owned the brand at the time. The White Ranger, Tommy, can be considered someone from the original Saban era. Then we have the Shadow Ranger, Doggy Kruger, from the Disney era. And finally, the Red Ranger, Tyler, from the Neo Saban era. By having representation from completely different times in Power Rangers history helps illustrate just how far Hasbro wishes to go with this line. These figures show a statement of, hey, it's not just another Mighty Morphin nostalgia trip. We aren't just sticking with the cool new modern stuff either. This becomes even more evident with the inclusion of a villain figure, something that the previous line from Bandai, the Power Rangers Legacy Collection, failed to do. And what better villain to choose than Lord Zed himself? This character is someone who has arguably never gotten a truly great action figure, and now we've got something that older fans can proudly own. The paint and sculpting on these figures is pretty great. While I would argue that these figures aren't a perfect score, they definitely look fantastic. The amount of detail and sculpting is on par with recent Marvel Legends figures, though some paint apps can leave some desiring more. Luckily, most Power Rangers designs are relatively basic, even compared to the ones that were chosen here. If these look this good, I can only imagine how stellar a less complicated design, such as something like Lightspeed Rescue or In Space, could look. Considering the only figure that could be reused in any way out of this wave is one of the four, shows the level of commitment and faith to this line. The articulation is pretty great as well, putting joints in ways that really allows the overall look of the figure to remain seamless. Now, if you're looking for a more articulated Power Rangers figure, then this is the one spot I think the Bandai Legacy figures win over the Hasbro ones. Those figures were designed to move easily and pose super nicely. While you can get an insane amount of cool poses out of these figures, they just aren't on the same level. One of the best and worst parts of these figures, in my opinion, is the accessories. You get quite the plethora of extra pieces, including alternate heads. Except for Lord Zed, of course, but I mean, what would that even be? Anyways, the heads here are good. This was something I don't think was ever even on the table with the previous line, and it's a great way to make this line stand out. If actor lightens heads are what we get as opposed to build a figure pieces, I'm completely fine with that. Now, the only disappointment I have on the side of accessories are the weapons. Something I praised regarding the basic Beast Morphers figures were the painted weapons and how much I love them. These accessories, which come with figures twice the price, don't look like they match that certain price point. While the sculpting is all there, the paint is extremely lacking in some areas. Though the only exception seems to be Saba, but I wouldn't expect anything less for this kind of sword. Overall, the accessories aren't a mood killer, but a bit of a letdown for sure. When it's all said and done though, I feel like this line will be a huge hit with most fans. If you're looking for something between a Star Wars Black Series figure and a Marvel Legend, 
with the Power Rangers theming, of course. Well, I can't think of anything better than the Lightning Collection. So there you guys go. Those are my thoughts on the new Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures. As you know, I think they're pretty cool. I uh, mean, a little bit room for improvement, of course, but this is the first wave. We'll see how they go. I mean, this... Once again, Marvel Legends weren't perfect when they first started either, whether it be with Toy Biz or Hasbro or whatever. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you guys like these figures? Do you think you prefer the Legacy figures? Obviously, I prefer the Lightning Collection, but I understand why some would, you know, prefer the other option. Um, you're just going to stick with figure arts or whatever other options you have. Vintage stuff. Kind of up to you, of course. Check out some other videos if you like. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out social media, at Anthony Lantern on both Twitter and Instagram. Same old, same old, you know, just general YouTube ending stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Alright, I think that's it. See you guys later.